Welcome back to Tip Tuesday. I'm Shortcut Sherry, and we're continuing our series on task management in Microsoft Planner. Today's tip is about using labels in your planner boards. Why would you want to use a label? Well, there's many reasons, but the biggest reason that I can think of is giving you different ways to view and organize your tasks. Your tasks are assigned to buckets, and a task can only be in one bucket at a time. Let's say I'm the manager that's going through all of these resumes, and I want to see all of the ones that are my marketing candidates, or I want to see all the ones that are my sales candidates. How would I see that? I can't tell unless I go into the task. I could have made my buckets be sales candidates or marketing buckets, but then I wouldn't be able to tell what stage of the process they're in just from the view. So creating those labels are a great way of making sure that you can filter and sort however you need to. To manage your labels, go ahead and open any task. And at the top, there's a field that says Add Label. As of last year, we now have 25 different colored labels. So there used to only be six. And you can customize the titles that are on the labels. You're not stuck with pink, red, yellow, green, blue. You can either select it and then rename it, or click the little Edit button and rename it. Let's say this is management, and this one is associate. We can use these labels for other things. Let's scroll down, and I'm going to use the cranberry one. Maybe I want to flag people that have an issue with their background check. Let's do one more. We'll use green for schedule interview. So I'm going to add the labels for Dan. Let's say he's going to be management. And we need to schedule an interview with him. So right from the card, I can tell what type of position he's applying for and that I need to schedule an interview for him. Your planner boards can be viewed in different ways. Right now, they're grouped by bucket. In the upper right-hand corner, you can view by label. So let's go to the upper right-hand corner, expand the View menu, and choose Labels. So here's Management, here's Associate. Now, on my wish list would be to hide the labels that don't have anything assigned to it. Until they do that, and you can't actually drag and drop and reorder them either, I would suggest using them from top to bottom, trying to make some sense out of them that way. You may have to scroll over on the screen in order to see the other ones. And here's my schedule interview. I'm going to show you in a future video how to manage this a little bit easier. This to me is a little bit clunky, but there's a better way using the list view that's not apparent in planners. Planting the seed gets you excited for that one. That's my tip for today. Use the labels to create different ways to organize and manage your tasks. Next week, we're going to talk about how to use drag and drop to update your tasks. In the meantime, check out some of the great events that we have coming up. And until next time, I'm Shortcut Sherry, and it's my job to make your job easier.